Celebration Luncheon. I'm Ellen Sherberg, and I'm the publisher of the St. Louis Business Journal. It's truly my great pleasure and honor to partner with Mayor Francis G. Slay and the St. Louis Development Corporation on our 13th annual celebration of business organizations and especially the people who play major roles during the past year in the city's continued growth and development. I was reminiscing with Mayor Slay because at our first luncheon 13 years ago, the theme was hope. Like just hope that we'll have a great business community and just believe that we can. And I think if you look around the room, you see that we do. So please give yourselves a huge round of applause. You know, really, St. Louis has a long tradition of innovation and entrepreneurship. In fact, that's how our city was born on the banks of the Mississippi River 250 years ago. Just think of us as kind of a big startup. Many other entrepreneurs with great ideas have followed. And humbly, we suggest that it's this spirit of exploration, two and a half centuries later, that's the basis for much of the synergy and activity happening in our city today. While we honor our past, we also take a glimpse at the new generation of business people who will be leading us into the next 250 years, or at least the next 25. But first, it's lunchtime. That's what I like to say. I want to invite to the stage Pastor Ron Stevens, Temple Church of Christ in the 26th Ward to bring the invocation. Pastor Stevens. Let us pray. Lord God in heaven and here on earth, we acknowledge your presence among us. We ask that you hear our prayer for peace and justice in the great city of St. Louis. Lord, we thank you for the diversity in this very room. Some of us worship you through Moses and the Old Testament. Some of us worship you through Muhammad and the Quran. Some of us worship you through Jesus in the New Testament. Others worship you in many different ways. Help us to respect and trust each other because we differ and not in spite of our differences. We pray for the President of these United States and his administration. We pray for the Governor of Missouri and his staff. We pray for St. Louis County officials and those seeking office. We pray for the citizens of Ferguson, Missouri. We pray for Michael Brown's family and friends, and we ask that you give this family peace. We pray for Officer Darren Wilson's family and friends, and we ask that you give this family peace too. We pray that you take the pain, anger, resentment, and bitterness from Ferguson, Missouri, and transform those emotions into a region of creativity and innovation. Transform those emotions into a region of new leaders. Transform those emotions into a, a region that generates new public policy. Transform those emotions into increased voter registration and participation. Lord, today, we pray for Mayor 
Francis G. Slade. And we respond to his leadership. We respond to his courage and his vision for not being afraid to take action, for standing up even when he is standing alone. Lord, let St. Louis take lead and be the measurement by which all other cities will try to emulate. Let St. Louis be a great leader, a leader in public transportation, a leader in technology, leaders in education, a leader in health care, a leader in new businesses and development, and even leaders in strategic methods in reducing crimes. May we never betray the public trust. And may we always be aware of the privilege that we have been given to serve. Indeed, Father, we thank you for granting us this opportunity together at the Mayor's Business Celebration Lunch. We thank you for the St. Louis leaders, those who will be recognized and those who will not be recognized. We thank you for all of the business leaders, all of the economic development officials, all the community leaders, all the elected officials. We thank you for these men and women and those who, who remain committed committed to working and impacting the city of St. Louis. We thank you for those who, who are remain committed to challenging the powers of evil. We thank you for those who remain committed, who are binding up wounds of those who suffer. We thank you for those who have committed themselves to giving themselves in service. We thank you for those who are helping others who receive no help from others. We thank you for caring when others fail to care. So today, we say thank you. Thank you for the change agents of St. Louis. More change is waiting to come. Father, we know the change will not come if we wait for some other person or for some other time. We are the one that we have been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Now, God, bless the Mayor's Business Celebration Luncheon today. And may your holy presence in our lives remain our mandate to glorify you with our bodies, our souls, and our minds. In your most holy name we pray. Amen. Wouldn't it be wonderful? if that prayer could be read from every pulpit throughout the region. I want to tell you that it's just fine to have your cell phones on. We want you to eat and tweet. We want you to post and send your thoughts on today's events. We want you to congratulate all the award winners. We want you to add anything that's on your mind. Well, maybe almost anything. The hashtags are pound sign, biz lunch, and pound sign, capital STL, in that order. Or, if you want to tweet through the internet, the password is biz, B-I-Z, lunch. Okay, here's the key part. Keep, please, quietly, quietly, enjoy your lunch while Otis Williams, who is the executive director of the St. Louis Development Corporation, comes to the stage to thank the companies and people who made today's event possible. Otis is far more polite than I am, so I'm going to tell you, please be quiet. Thank you. Okay, can we have your attention? Thank you, Ellen. Uh, today's event would not be possible without the support of uh, longtime and new members of the St. Louis business community. Our platinum sponsors are in lights around the room on the screens, and they are Ameren, Missouri, Centene Corporation, Edward Jones, First Bank, Hilliker Corporation, the LaClee Group, Lemire Place Casino and Hotels, Mallinckrodt Pharmaceuticals, St. Louis Economic Development Partnership, Thompson Coburn, and U.S. Bank. 
On the screens are our gold sponsors. Yes, let's give those, give our platinum sponsors a hand. Our gold sponsors are BJC Healthcare, Gilmore and Bell, Green Street Real Estate Ventures, Hush Blackwell, Nestle Marina Pet Care, Procter and Gamble, and the St. Louis Business Journal. Our sales sponsors are AgriFarm, Boeing Company, McCormick Baron Salazar, Monsanto, Peabody Energy, Pozzanelli, and SM Wilson. Our bronze sponsors that are here on the screens uh, in your program booklet. So uh, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors, and we certainly appreciate your commitment to the city for helping make the mayor's business celebration luncheon a successful event. We also need to thank a few more people who help us throughout the year in our efforts to make St. Louis a great city for business and a great place for us to live, work, and play. Uh, at this time, I would like to acknowledge all city, state, and federal elected officials, their staff, and the cabinet members of Mayor Slay. If uh, you're here or representing one of them, please stand and be recognized. Our partners in development, city and state economic development staff, and the organizations that help us close so many development deals, and especially our key local development partners, including the St. Louis Economic Development Partnership, the Regional Chamber, the Partnership for Downtown, and a whole host of individuals who uh, work with us daily. Uh, the volunteer members of the City Economic Development uh, Boards and Authorities, we'd like to thank those folks as well, and I think you find those names listed in your program. And last, but certainly not least, uh, thanks to the dedicated employees of the St. Louis Development Corporation, the Community Development Administration, and the Planning and Urban Design Agency, the St. Louis Agency for Training and Employment, and the Affordable Housing Commission for your hard work on uh, all of our projects throughout the year, and especially the coordination and coordinators of the uh, annual lunch in the day, especially Ivy Clay, Donna Campbell, Tierra Loomis, Melanie Pelletier, Sarah Wessels, William Bailey, and the rest of the luncheon committee. We certainly appreciate that. At your tables, uh, each of you will uh, find a scratch-off ticket, courtesy of Print Flesh Graphics, but only one of you will be a winner. If your ticket shows the flower symbol, you are the winner of the floral centerpiece and the restaurant gift card at your table. It's our gift to you. We also want to thank the St. Louis Blues. All right, come back, come back. We want to thank the St. Louis Blues and the St. Louis Cardinals for four tickets that they're providing for our regular season game, and but not for the playoffs. So hopefully somebody will win, win that. The Renaissance Grand Hotel for an overnight stay here at this beautiful hotel. And the Tropicana Casinos for our overnight stay and dinner package at the Four Seasons Hotel and at CeeLo's Restaurant. So at this time, the St. Louis Development staff will be walking around to try and collect business cards, and yes, you must be present to win. So if you have a business card and would like to participate in the raffle at the end of this program, please raise your hand and allow the staff to pick them up. Thank you. And so what we'd like for you to do is to continue, obviously talk, but post, trend, and tweet while you eat. So, have a good lunch.
like for you to, to for for you to continue with your desserts and that kind of thing. So the pioneer spirit of uh, St. Louis is alive and well. Let's hear from some of the people who are continuing our legacy of innovation and entrepreneurship and laying the foundation for the next 250 years.
put them back in service. We're using modern design aesthetics. We're still using modern computer software uh, to design the things we do the way that any other design firm these days would. But uh, when it comes to actually making the stuff, we're making everything right here in a very old school letterpress fashion. It started very grassroots. Um, basically, about 200 bucks in my pocket. Uh, we built a, a pretty lasting business here. Sparrow Labs is a med tech company developing a product that empowers asthma patients to quantitatively and proactively manage their disease. Sparrow Labs got started out of an extracurricular project out of Wash U. Neither of us actually have asthma, none of our close family do. But the more that we researched into asthma and other respiratory diseases, we found that there's just a really compelling need there. So basically, the system works with the hardware that you blow into that measures how fast your, your lungs are going. And then you also have the smartphone app, and it plugs right into the headphone jack right at the bottom to make the two work perfectly together. Cora is a company that has developed teaching and instructional materials as well as teacher training and professional development that trains teachers to teach students uh, computer science and computer coding skills. So I think uh, St. Louis Public Schools has an opportunity where they are very open for innovation right now. What we're trying to accomplish is innovate in the education space and allow students to have uh, options after high school graduation in a high demand, high paying career field like the field of technology. Downtown is a driving force in innovation for the region. It's been a great melting pot of innovation, of collaboration, of bringing people with all kinds of different backgrounds into the same area to coexist and collaborate around new things. The Arch Riverfront Project, um, it started with Ballpark Village and then the ability to kind of connect St. Louis and make it more of a continuous city. I believe that what Cortex is doing is creating the next generation of headquartered companies for the region. We worked for eight years in trying to secure funding for the new Metrolink station in Cortex. And I'm very happy to say that we achieved that. The positive trends that I want to see continue are that St. Louis continues supporting the startups. That's where our trend shines and that's where our companies demonstrate that they can make a commitment. They see this as an ideal location to headquarter as entrepreneurs have seen for decades. What I feel good about is those risk takers and those people with energy are coming to the city. And we moved to St. Louis uh, about a little over a year ago to uh, take part of this, this really exciting uh, engine that, that we find here in the city. This is the ideal place for, pe for people from all walks of life to want to be in St. Louis. So what I want for St. Louis in the future of uh, the next 250 years is I don't want to stay in the but I also want to see us uh, continue to be St. Louis. We've got the entrepreneurs, we've got the investment community, we've got the labor pool, and when we tie all those three together, going in the right direction, St. Louis is going to be in good shape. But I think one of the great things about St. Louis is the diversity that we have in the city and hopefully continuing to make that innovative spirit more accessible to everyone. Our hopes for the future of St. Louis is that it continues to blossom into the growing, vibrant, diverse community that it has become. And every city in America, when you come in here and say, okay, well, what did they do here? And I think everybody wants to be here. I want St. Louis, and I believe St. Louis has the capabilities to become an international gateway for opportunity for entrepreneurs everywhere in the world. Where if you have a great idea and the drive to make it happen, we will help you develop and grow your business. If you have a desire to make our community a better place, we're willing to pitch in and help. That's the kind of city that we want to cultivate over the next 250 years. These innovative businesses provide a great example to all of us. We need to discover our passions, take risks, and believe in the next 250 years of our city.
Thank you. Um, at this point, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce Mayor Francis Schlepp. Well, thank you, Otis. Uh, thank you for your great leadership. Good afternoon to everyone and welcome. Uh, this is, uh, I can't count how many years we've been doing this, but we've done it every year right here at the Renaissance Grand, and I can tell you that they always do a spectacular job. Uh, those who are serving our meals uh, are friendly, courteous, uh, and do a great job. Let's give them all, and who prepared it, who prepared it, give a great round of applause. You know, St. Louis has an amazing legacy. The uh, generations that came before us created a great city. They were audacious. They built the Eads Bridge, Union Station, the old post office, the downtown library, and the arch. They were entrepreneurs. They took risks and built companies like Anheuser-Busch, Ralston Perina, and Stiefel. They cared about their city. They left us with world-renowned civic assets like the zoo, the arch, Washington University, and the second most successful franchise in Major League baseball history. Go Cards, right? Go Cards. We have a tremendous legacy on which to build, and we're doing it. Today, a new generation of entrepreneurs and thought leaders and knowledge workers are taking the reins to drive our economy and to bring new energy to our city. We are innovating in the life sciences and technology. We have breathed new life in historic buildings like the Peabody Opera House, the General American Building, and soon to be uh, renewed, renovated Arcade Building. We built a new Mississippi River Bridge and a regional ring of connected greenways. We refurbished Forest Park, making it the best urban park in America. We are national acclaim with arts grants through our imagination and determination. We created Cortex, the Innovation District, and we are building the $380 million City Arch River Project, overcoming obstacles that, that would have stopped less relentless cities in their tracks. We have the second highest number of financial services jobs behind Wall Street and are home to 18 Fortune 1000 companies. We have one of the best Fourth of July celebrations the second biggest Mardi Gras parade in the country, and the great Annie Malone May Day Parade, celebrating 125 years of service to children's, children and families in our community. It has never been easy for St. Louis. We are not near an ocean or a mountain. It is too cold here in the winter, too hot in the summer, and we don't have an abundant natural resource like oil. But St. Louis is great because of its people, because of all of you, because we do not take no for an answer, because we are not afraid of obstacles, we're not afraid to take risks, and we're not afraid of failure. This is one of those times when those traits will serve us well. Ferguson has brought to the surface issues that we cannot ignore and that we must address effectively. This will be even more important than building a bridge, a zoo, or a company, and it, will, and it will be every bit as hard, if not harder. We must commit ourselves to address these issues, not as white people, not as black people, not as city people, not as county people, but as St. Louisans who love our city and our region and want us to live up, we want everyone to be able to live up to the American dream that they deserve. All St. Louisans should be created, all St. Louisans, all St. Louisans should be treated equally under the law and trust the police departments that serve and protect them. All St. Louisans should know that their governments work for them and, and has the know-how and ability to provide good services at a fair price. 
and all St. Louisans who are willing to work hard and prepare themselves should be able to get a good paying job limited only by their own ambition and talent. All St. Louisans should be able to send their children to a good school with quality education, quality teachers, dedicated teachers who know that all children want to learn and can learn. Those are the values that are the backbone, backbone of a great city. The baton has been handed to us. Like the people who came before us, we must face our challenges. But like previous generations, I am confident that we will succeed and we will hand off a better city to the next generation. Thank all of you for your dedication and commitment to our city. I want you to know I'm very proud to be your mayor. Thank you, Mayor Slay. We truly appreciate your leadership to the city, to the region, and your desire to make us a model for what America should be. Now, the 2014 Mayor's Business Celebration Awards. The Business Celebration Awards are our way of showing our appreciation for the contributions of the city business community. We're really very grateful to all who call the city home. Now, here's the, here are the instructions. Award winners, as you hear your category being introduced, please start making your way to the stage. Businesses of the year are companies of every size across all industries that made special commitments to or investments in the city of St. Louis. They have created and retained jobs, invested in other businesses, introduced unique new projects or services to the city, and or have contributed to the diversity and inclusiveness of our business community. This category also includes Neighborhood Business of the Year winners, one from each city ward that helps stabilize neighborhoods and contribute to their unique character. Please welcome to the stage the 2014 Businesses of the Year. Alphabetically, starting with BAM Contracting. BAM is the specialty contractor whose commercial and residential projects extend from Old North St. Louis to Forest Park to St. Louis County. BAM is owned by longtime city resident and businessman, Brian A. Murphy. Brian? Crossroads Repographics is helping SLDC's efforts to grow minority and women-owned businesses as host of the SLDC Minority, Contracts Pl minority Contractors Plan Room. That's where minority contractors go to access the latest development opportunities to bid, to bid on all over the region and throughout the state. Crossroads is represented today by Abby Meyer, who's office manager and MWBE liaison. Abby. Crossroads is also represented by Lemmy Rogers. <laughs> Located in Lafayette Square, Fields Foods is creating healthier communities one bite at a time through affordable, healthy food options from local farmers and trusted brands. Developers Chris Goodson and Joe O'Toole are responsible for this. Gentlemen.
by Lamarco Scales, Scales Plumbing has laid the infrastructure for several major commercial, residential, and many healthcare projects throughout the region. They include the St. Louis Public Schools, Grand Center, Dyna Labs, and St. Louis County Health Center. Lamarco? We honor Stiefel for its continued growth and commitment to the city. Stiefel also is leading the charge as a primary funder to establish the city and county's first construction contractor loan fund. The fund will provide access to capital and other resources to ensure the growth of minority and women-owned construction businesses. Chris Reichert, who's president and CEO of Stiefel Bank, is accepting the award on, on behalf of Stiefel because CEO Ron, Ron Krzyzewski is in Los Angeles for a baseball game. <laughs> Chris will be watching the game on television <laughs> with the rest of us. Congratulations to all the businesses of the year, and thank you for your commitment to doing business with us. Now, selected in conjunction with the St. Louis Board of Aldermen, the 2014 Neighborhood Businesses of the Year, and I'm going to just run through these because that's what I do, but these people are really the backbone of our community. They're, on, they're down the block, they're down the street, they're open. I really think Ferguson underscores how important they are to our neighborhoods. So I'm gonna go through these quickly. I hope you clap for the next 10 minutes because they deserve it. Let's go. First Ward, Stepney Brothers Auto Body, Willie Stepney, Willie. <laughs> Second Ward, Dogtown Pizza. Rick and Meredith Schaefer. Come on, all of you, come on. Third Ward, Sun Cafe, Terry Goodwin. Fourth Ward, Jaden's Restaurant and Bar, Leroy and Mary Hayden. Fifth Ward, Cupferly Foundry Company, Dan McKee. Sixth Ward, Four Money Paws, Matt Brazelton. Seventh Ward, Vincent's 12th Street Market, Vincent Romadka. Eighth Ward, the Wyoming Barber Shop, Marco Valentino. Ninth Ward, Jefferson Tent and Awning, B. Hines. Tenth Ward, Bertarelli Cutlery, John Bertarelli. Eleventh Ward, we're doing this today, we're accepting the award on behalf of Monumental Finishers, and also for the John L. Zegenhein and Sons Funeral Home Neighborhood Business of the Year in the 12th Ward. I hate it when a funeral home wins. But. 13th Ward, Data Dash, Sue Morton. 14th Ward, Neighboring Auto Repair, Tom and Susan Liebling. We're gonna get a group photograph for the first 14 wards. Can we do this? Come on, clap for them. These are the people who make a difference for us. So while they're taking their picture, I have a question for you. Any of you who have patronized any of these businesses, would you just stand up for a second? Just come on. Any of you have been to any of these businesses? This is what they need. These are the things you need to know. That's what you need to know. All right. All right, you're going to come back and get individual photos. But in the meantime, those of you from the next wards, we're going to start off with the St. Louis favorite for the 16th ward. Ted Drew's Frozen Custard, Ted Drew's. 17th Ward, 
Randy's Recycled Cycles, Randy Bond. 18th Ward, Vandiverton Service Center, Jesse Osby. 19th Ward, Chronicle Coffee, Jason Wilson. 20th Ward, Moore Design Group, Bob and Betty Moore. 21st Ward, Emo's Pizza, Rachel Worthy. 22nd Ward, Goody Goody Diner, Richard Connolly. 23rd Ward, Killer Vintage, Dave Henson. 24th Ward, Landscape St. Louis, Ron Gedeker. 25th Ward, Janine Salon Studio, Janine Vaughn. 26th Ward, Delmar Doggy Design, Christina Duncan. 27th Ward, Generations Convenience Store and Delhi, Brenda Ayuso, excuse me. And finally, the 28th Ward, Miss M's Candy Boutique, Sharon Ethel. Come on, everybody. Now I'm going to ask you again as they get their photos taken. Those of you who've been to any of these, please stand up. Because if you haven't, I think you're not telling the truth. Come on. Thank you all. Video? Visionary real estate developments have the capacity to transform neighborhoods and capture the imagination of an entire community. This year's developments of the year converted the city's vision for growth and vitality into projects that expanded the market for city real estate and demonstrated the surge of creativity and energy happening in the city of St. Louis. Congratulations to the 2014 Developments of the Year and the visionaries behind them. It's real. It's open. It's creating jobs and excitement the city hasn't seen in years, not just on game days, but every day. Ballpark Village, represented today by the developers, Mike Whittle, Senior Vice President and General Counsel of the St. Louis Cardinals, good luck tonight, and Chase Martin, Development Director for the Cordish Companies, Please join me in complimenting them. Okay, now go home and get some rest, because we know you have a big weekend planned. <laughs> Our next winner is Cortex Innovation Community. Cortex is headed by President and CEO Dennis Lauer. This past year, Cortex has seen the completion 
of nearly 400,000 square feet of office and research space. It's welcomed Cambridge Innovation Center and started construction of our first IKEA store that's going to open about this time next year. Cortex is booming with research and retail in the Midtown and Central West End neighborhoods. And by the way, the Central West End neighborhood has just been named one of the American Planning Association's great neighborhoods in America. But we knew that, didn't we? Congratulations. <laughs> And now, the newly renovated Jazz at the Bistro, which is housed at the renamed Harold and Dorothy Stewart Center for Jazz, reopened last night to the smooth sounds of Wynton Marsalis. This venue, along with the Sun Theater, KDHX, and the Larry Weir Center, were completed this past year, and our entertainment options just keep growing. They're in Grand Center, of course. It's all being done under the leadership of Grand Center Incorporated, and accepting this award is President and CEO, and of course our former mayor, Vince Shamel. <laughs> T-Rex and more than 100 startup companies continue to grow in their new home, the renovated Lambert Building, which has been renamed Technology Entrepreneur Center. Also housed at Tech, Get it? Technology Entrepreneur Center. Our arch grants, I-10, 630, Cultivation Capital, and Capital Innovators, thereby creating an entrepreneurial innovation and startup ecosystem where startups are thriving and opportunity for success is on the fingertips of just about everyone who walks in. Accepting? I got Patty. Uh, Mark Shop, Patty Hagan. From, um, the, from tech and T-Rex. We'll get this all right, okay? Congratulations. <laughs> After a nearly 20 year absence, luxury car sales returned to the city in style. And that's in the beautiful glass and silver dealership at 40 in Hampton. We're really glad to have you back in the city. Mercedes-Benz of St. Louis and President Tom Henneke. You know, Tom, I don't want to say anything, but when I heard you were giving this award, I thought maybe the drawings would be up to notch or two. <laughs> maybe next year, huh? heard a girl from trying. <laughs> More glass and luxury high-rise high living are available downtown at the Tower at Old Post Office Plaza, our OPA. We really want to thank the Urban Street Group of Chicago for completing this stunning addition to downtown living. Managing partner Robert Burke accepts the Development of the Year Award for Urban Street. Their work recently extended to Ferguson, where Better Family Life was one of the very first responders during the crisis, sending coalitions out every day as peacekeepers, providing medical trucks and counselors to help residents with personal challenges and to help them put their lives back together. For 30 years of helping families live better, we want to present the Quality of Life Award to Better Family Life and to its founder, CEO Malik Ahmed. Whoops, I think I'm... Uh, I messed this up and over and turned the page too quickly. So, well, you all should come up here and we have a video introduction. Wait, while you're getting together, roll the tape. Yeah. As we recognize the businesses and developers who have contributed to the city's revitalization, we also celebrate the people and organizations whose hard work and dedication improves the quality of life for city residents, workers, and businesses each and every day.
quality of life honoree that are committed to the prosperity, health, and well-being of individuals and families in the city of St. Louis. They are what makes St. Louis a great place to live, work, and play. Now, bear with me as I start this again and tell you that Better Family Life's new headquarters in the heart of North St. Louis is a community hub where thousands of clients come each year for employment, housing, cultural, social, and an array of other services. Better Family Life has placed people into full-time jobs, helped families become first-time homeowners, and helped them to avoid foreclosure. They've been the stimulus for redevelopment and community re-engagement in North St. Louis. And as I've told you, they have taken their mission and their people to Ferguson. We're very grateful to you. Thank you very much. We have another introduction, right, by video. Finally, we honor individuals, companies, and organizations that have demonstrated strong leadership and acted as effective catalysts for economic development in the city. Mayor's Award honorees go above and beyond as leaders in the St. Louis business community to promote our city's economic growth, innovation, and inclusiveness. Mayor's Award honorees are true leaders and visionaries for our city. This year's Mayor's Award goes to a man whose name was synonymous with business development in the city, our colleague and friend, Patrick Bannister. We lost Pat in December of 2013, and he's truly missed. As SLDC's Executive Director, uh, he was SLDC's Deputy Executive Director for Business Development, and he was our go-to guy for businesses looking to, re to relocate to or expand in the city. His hometown pride made him strive to make the city's business community a major player in the global market. Over the years, he was instrumental in the issuance and approval of more than $2 billion in creative financing to attract new businesses to the city or help those already here stay, grow, and create jobs. He led the retention efforts that kept major companies like Dow, Peabody, Procter & Gamble, Stiefel, and Wells Fargo advisors in the city and the region instead of moving elsewhere. And he loved growing small businesses as well, helping small family-owned businesses and new industries such as technology and microbreweries flourish. One of Pat's favorite things was identifying companies to be honored by Mayor Slade and SLDC throughout the year, including the business celebration luncheon. We're happy that Pat's family could join us today, and with gratitude for his years of service and dedication to the city, we present the Mayor's Award to his wife, Kathy Bannister, and his sister, Kathleen Brady. I'm sorry, his son, Michael. celebrating Charlie Dooley. After serving nine years on the County Council, Charlie's been County Executive for the past 11 years. He has been a phenomenal partner with the city. The collaborations are numerous. I will name a few. River City and Lumiere Place, North Park, Cortex, City Arch River, The Mosaic Project, Accelerate St. Louis, Charlie and Mayor Slay have stood together and represented our region better than sometimes we deserved and never better than we expected because we expect a lot from these gentlemen. They gave us even more. 
Charlie Dooley Mayor's Award. I'll get to say a few words. Let me say a few words. First of all, actually, I was born in the city of St. Louis. It is my home. And if loving St. Louis is wrong, I don't want to be right. <laughs> but let me say this. This has been a great ride for me the last 11 years, especially with my good friend, Mary Slay. We have done a great, great things in this city, great partnership. But even more importantly, he has been a steadfast friend to me. And I appreciate, thank you so very much, Mayor Slay. And to all of you, I have enjoyed myself immensely. I have the privilege to uh, represent this community. It has been the joy of my life. But even more importantly, it made Sandra and Stephanie proud of their father and dad. Thank you so much. join me in congratulating all of the 2014 winners of the Mayor's Business Celebration Luncheon. We hope that you take time to read more about the award winners and their extraordinary contributions to the city and the region in your program booklet and in SLVC's 2014 report in the region. That's an insert in today's business journal, which is of course at your seat. It's also on SLDC's website, which is stlewis-missouri slash SLDC. You'll never remember that. All right. Before we close, Mayor Slay, um, we're going to do the drawings for our four grand prizes. I have to say a lot of you stayed, but I know if we get that Mercedes next year, everybody will be here. <laughs> Mayor. Our first prize is four field box tickets to a th 2015, listen to me, regular season <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals game with VIP parking. And the winner is? Well, the winner is Nicole McCoy, who is the Divisional Services Assets Manager for the Salvation Army. Nicole, are you here? Next, we have four tickets to the October 23rd Blues game against the Canucks. And that winner is Steve Hall, President, Documents to Digital. Steve, are you here? Must be present to win. <laughs> and Nicole, are you here? Yeah. Right, and Steve, do I hear you out there? Come on. Get your prize. If you stay through this whole thing, you deserve a prize, let me tell you. Our third prize is an overnight stay here at the Renaissance Grand. The winner for that? Jeremy Roach. Jeremy, are you here? The winner is there we go. Leanne Chilton. <laughs> Leanne? <laughs> Leanne's at BJC Healthcare. She's the Director of Government Relations. Congratulations. Leanne? Yeah, yeah. is one night stay at the Four Seasons Hotel with a $100 gift certificate to Cello Restaurant. The winner for that? Rick Barbie, Vice President of Marketing at SCF Marine. Rick? There you go. We want to 
want to thank the Blues, the Cardinals, Tropicana, and the Renaissance Grand Hotel for these phenomenal prizes. And also, we really want to thank each of you for joining us today and for being extraordinarily important members of, of our team. And that's a team that's making St. Louis a great place to live, work, play, and stay. It's my honor again, on behalf of Mayor Francis Slay, on behalf of SLDC, and certainly on behalf of the St. Louis Business Journal, to wish you a great weekend. Go Cards! And the winners should come on back up here and get those pictures taken. On time. Good job.